So from the last few video, we have already seen the SML integration with some multi-factor authentication. And if a user having his or her password wants to single sign on with our identity service, that integration we have already covered. Now, if we want to customize an integration according to our need, so we will see how to customize an integration. So for customization, go to add web apps, go to custom tab and based on according to your need, just select and add and custom. We will choose the user password for our ease. Now give an domain URL to of the application where for which you have to give a single sign on. Add a description or of it, give a nice name. If you want to give a logo to it, give a logo. Select the users for it. Give a multi-factor authentication policy. Uh, it is optional. If you don't want to give, don't give. Customize or select from the settings. I have chosen the customized one which I have already created. Now click on save. The status is deployed, means the application has been allocated to the users. Now reloads the rights. Now a customized Salesforce application should be assigned to the selected users. See? the logo which I have said and let's give a single sign on so it asked me for a username and password now enter your username and password click on save See, it asks me that as we have set an authentication policy. Enter the password. So we are able to log in to our Salesforce account with using a custom. So this was it. From this module for the SML integrations using SML user having his or her password that is user password or if you want to customize any application that is not present at our identity services just give your domain URL integrate it and enjoy the single sign on so this was it for the module integrations of web app to identity services.